Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. This is a cardio and core workout. So, our first sets of exercises are one cardio, one core, and then we go into two sets, I believe, just with core, and then we finish up with two sets just with cardio. So we do super set at the end. Um, you need a yoga mat and space, that's all. I'm gonna also link the playlist in the description because I think that the music might not be working, um, but I'm still gonna push play here for myself as well. So let's get moving. All right, so first thing that we're gonna do is roll the wrists and the ankles. And then switch direction. Good, opposite side, wrists and ankles. And then switch direction. Great, step touch. Swinging your arm right across your body. Good. And I want you big arm circles. And then switch direction. Great. And now lean side to side, stretching the side of the body. Good. Tap and reach across. Getting a twist in the spine. Four, three, two, one. Let's do a step back, crescent lunge, arm reach.
and done. Bicycles. Woo. Five seconds. Ready, go. Focus on form. Don't just run through the motions. Make it intentional. Fifteen seconds. Five. And come on up. Final round here. Final round here. Five seconds with your forward back high knees. Ready? Go.
Okay. Uh, final round in five seconds. Ready, go. Most energy you got for these exercises. Leave it on the line now.
Rest. Woo! Okay. Final round of jackknives. Three, two, go. Fifteen. 
rest. Awesome. Okay, so we are going to all on the ground. We've got a leg raise with a hip lift. So you'll be with your head on the ground. You will lift and lower your legs and at the top do a hip lift. And then we've got a full, let's see, C curve up and down, seated twist, punch to your hip. So stay with me here. Ready, here you go. So leg, lower, lift. And this one I am giving us 15 seconds instead of 10 seconds because we're supersetting, we're working the same muscle group. 15 seconds. Good, 10 seconds. We have five. And now rest. So here, let's see. C curve up and down, seated twist, punch to hip. So you'll curve back into your C curve, punch to your hip, punch to your hip, curve up. Here you go. C curve back, punch, punch, come up, come back. So we never go all the way down. We come up, we C curve. So tuck that tailbone under and lift. We never want to curve back with like a cow shape in our spine. We're always looking for the cat shape. Five seconds. And rest. Woo! Do whatever you'd like. Maybe stretch out. Oh, we've got leg drop with a hip dip. Hip lift in five seconds. Ready? Go. Lower. Lift. Hips up and down. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Ten seconds. We have five. And rest. Whoo! Oh yeah, definitely gonna burn here. Ten seconds for our C curve. Twist in five. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Ready? Go. Stay low, stay back in that twist. You'll work your deepest core muscles. You can consider this and the next set, your cardio break before we superset cardio, the final two. And rest. Okay, so we are going down to the ground. Or leg drop, hip dip. I guess this is round two, right? I'm five seconds. Or is this round three? Ready, go. I think this is round three. Or is this round two? This is the beginning of round three. I don't know. If I messed it up, do it on your own.
You'll have your elbows down and you're going to do a scissor. So you keep your hips still in the C curve in the spine. Then after that, you're going to go to a suitcase. So you'll come up, hands to those ankles, come all the way back. Ready? Go. Elbows down, scissor. So once again, we never want a cow shape in the spine. Here the tailbone is tucked under. You've got a nice long spine. If you need to bend your knees here, like I'm showing, go ahead and do that. 15 seconds. Good. 10 more seconds. We have five. Good. And rest. Okay, we're gonna come back to that suitcase hollow in 10 seconds. Good. In five. So you go from hollow, you sit all the way up into your suitcase. So I'm gonna start suitcase hollow. You can grab your ankles or your knees. You're welcome to give a little hold before you come back. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Five seconds. And rest. Okay, scissors next. Okay, stretch. Oh, round two of three. Five seconds. This is also our final round on the ground. Ready? Go. Tailbone tucked. Fifteen seconds. Ten. Ooh. We have five seconds. Three, two, and rest. Great. Okay, coming into our suitcase hollow. This one really burns. Good. You're rolling down the spine as well, that rolling position. Go. So we roll back, we roll up, vertebra by vertebra. Amazing. Okay, 30 seconds off, we come on up. So, you will need your mat for things like plank jack. In fact, we have three plank jacks and a pike in our next round. So it's three, two, one, straight legs, hop in. And then your next exercise is a side step, big hop. So you side step together, hop, side step together, hop. Ready? Do that. Fifteen seconds. 
bend. Five. 
rest. Okay. So here, you're jogging, punching, jogging, punching, trying to kind of coordinate that motion. You can keep your punch low, whatever feels easiest for you, like, to maintain. Ready? Go. Lots of movement here. Right 
leg forward, left leg over the top, twist, look over the left shoulder, And then move your left leg in along with your right side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs. And now come on up. Cross your right leg over your left. Hold your knee tight to your chest. Twist and look back over the right shoulder. And then come in through the center. And now let's go into another bridge position. So bend your knees, roll on down. Good. First, do a few pelvic tilts, lower back to the ground, and then lift, letting your back reset. Good. And now roll your hips up, interlace your hands underneath your hips, squeeze your shoulder blades together, pinkies to the ground. Great. And now release. Good. Send your left leg to the sky, pulling tight, stretching the back of your leg, then point and flex your ankle. And now draw circles. Whoa. And switch directions. Great. And then send your right leg long, bend your left knee, twist over to the right, supine twist. And center, let's switch. Right leg up to the sky, point and flex. Draw circles, and switch directions. Hold it tighter, and now send your left leg long, pull your right knee across, two point twist. Great. Bring both knees to your chest. Give them a hug. And then roll over. Bring your hips to the ground for Sphinx Pose. Elbows under shoulders. Lift the chest all the way up. Stretching belly and hip flexors. And then if it feels good, slide your hands under your shoulders. Push up higher for Cobra. And now push back to child's pose. Ah. Tuck your chin, curve your spine forward, flip your feet, walk your hands towards your feet, taking a nice relaxing forward fold. And then slowly roll up, vertebra by vertebra. Good, inhale, hands up. Exhale, hands to your heart, give yourself a bow. Thank you for joining me. I will catch you in the next one. And I hope you have a great day.